Welcome to my YouTube channel, today we shall be discussing what depression is, and how it differs from low mood. And this topic, depression shall be in series. However, I have done a video on how men and women differ when it comes to depression. Please, check out the link in the description below to follow up. So, let's jump straight into it without wasting time. If you or someone you know has suddenly lost interest in the things they normally love, has trouble sleeping, or sleeps too much, there is a possibility that it's depression. Sometimes depression is subtle, and sometimes it can be in your face. The main thing to note is that if you're feeling hopeless, sad, and empty for more than two weeks, you probably are suffering from depression. Thankfully, depression is very treatable. Major depression affects more than 7% of the US population. Sadly, most of the people suffering don't know that they're suffering and don't seek the appropriate help. Usually, the reasons for not getting help to involve not having the right insurance, not being able to afford the care, or not accepting that they have a problem because it's considered a made-up problem by their circle of family and friends. Since depression is a treatable disorder, this is sad. If you do seek treatment, you're a strong person who can recover. Don't allow the stigma or even money to stand in your way. There are often places that can help you, regardless of your financial abilities. You'll be glad you did. Next, let's look at the difference between depression and a low mood. Everyone experiences stressful times and low mood occasionally. Usually, this is related to an event in life such as working too long hours, or a tragedy that you're coping with. But these types of low moods usually pass eventually. When a low mood doesn't pass, usually within about two weeks, or you cannot identify why you're feeling bad, then you may be suffering from depression. In addition, there are other illnesses that you can have that manifest as low moods, such as thyroid disorders, low vitamin D3 levels in the blood, and even anxiety. It's imperative that you seek a professional diagnosis to ensure that what you really have is depression before you try to treat your condition. Remember that sadness like other feelings is a valid, human emotion. Everyone who feels low is not depressed. When you're sad, it's likely that someone can still make you happy, or you can listen to happy music, or do your favorite hobby and feel better. But, when you are depressed you cannot find joy in even the things that used to give you joy, no matter what they are. Depression may happen even at the happiest time of your life because it has nothing to do with outward events. While it's true that sometimes depression can be triggered by a normal life event that you're having trouble accepting and getting over, usually it just happens for what seems like no reason. It's not different from getting another disease such as diabetes. It has a physiological reason for happening even if we're not totally sure yet what causes it, but it has a treatment that can help you manage it or cure it. When you are depressed, you cannot just snap out of it. You can't just listen to a happy song, play with your kids, go for a walk, read positive things, or write a journal and expect it to magically go away. If you like this video, please, like and share with your friends, and also leave a comment below that you have subscribed to this channel. Thanks for watching.